Every now and then, I go out to look for some new free, amazing add-ons for you guys. And I must say, this week I found some amazing new gems that are going to leave you salivating. I'm talking about hard surface tools, retopo tools, 3D printing add-ons, and more. Starting with KitOps 3, for those who don't know about this amazing add-on already, KitOps is a kit bashing add-on. And what is kit bashing, you ask? Well, this is when you put together different pre-made assets to make something new and different. So KitOps is a library of kit bash assets and also an add-on with a set of tools that help you to create a non-destructive workflow with the help of booleans, material merging, modifiers, and more. This new version is faster, has new assets, and is compatible with other add-ons. For those of you who are new to Blender, allow me to introduce you to this amazing website that shows you all the Blender shortcuts with a GIF image of how the shortcut can be used. Just amazing. I wish I had something like this when I was new to Blender. I'm sure I would have visited this site like 20 times a day. A lot of retopology tools are paid add-ons. Well, this is not. It's actually one of those new fancy Blender extensions, which you can install directly in Blender if you go to the extensions page. It's easy to use. You just create points on the surface of your model, and those points can be turned into faces. Fences can be to add detail and story to your renders. This developer is giving away free samples from their paid collection. These are geometry node setups, so you can even dive into the samples to reimagine them into your own creations. 3D Print Toolbox. Blender is one of the most popular applications used in the 3D printing community for modeling. Unfortunately, to evaluate whether the model is ready to print, you have to use an external application for that, until now. This new free add-on called 3D Print Toolbox is going to show you errors that could come up and help you fix them with its array of tools. Real-time explosion. If you want real-time explosions, I've got you. This giga chat of a dude did what I wished I thought of myself. He created explosion simulations, a process that takes hours and hours, rendered the explosions on transparent PNG images that can be imported into Blender, and they look perfect. Well, they won't look good if you try to do a 360, but if looked at directly, they look amazing. Free animated VDB pack. If you really want to do a 360 around your explosions, it will cost you some render time, but these free animated VDBs are detailed and ready to use in any projects you want. They are not going to render as fast as the PNGs, but at least you don't have to set up the smoke simulation and wait hours for it to bake. You are essentially hitting the ground running with this pack of animated VDBs. Camera Plane. When working on movies, they use a technique called Set Extension to add more detail into the shots. Consider it Photoshop for movies. This technique is so popular you hardly find any movie that has not used it. And finally, you can set up the same thing in Blender using this free extension. The extension lets you import a number of images that it automatically aligns to the camera. Each layer can have detail, and since they all have different distances from the camera, when the camera moves, you will see some parallax. HDR rotation. Did you know HDR eyes can be rotated to change the light direction in your scene? Of course you do, but how often do you do it? Most people give up because it takes several steps each time you want to rotate the HDRI. Well, not anymore. If you install this add-on, it's always going to be as easy as just dragging to the left or right like it should have been in the first place. Sculpt Bridge Tool. Here's a tool for sculptors, modelers, basically anyone who wants to add interesting organic detail to your model. This too can be used to create muscles, bridge ropes, or even slime. It's procedural. You can adjust the size, sagging, and more. Quick Groups, Instances. One of the most underrated tools in Blender is instancing, especially group instancing. This is when you have an object that is made up of multiple objects. Instead of duplicating everything individually or as a whole, you can create these things called instances, which on the surface look no different from other objects, but underneath, ironically, they are considered exactly the same. Not duplicates, just exact copies that Blender does not even use any extra computation power even when you have hundreds of them in your scene. This add-on just makes it easier to edit and make group instances. If you are a Blender artist, it's likely you will venture into game development if you have not already done so. When you need to create animations for your game characters, add-ons like Rigify or Blend Rig, while they are great for animation, they are not game-ready rigs. On the other hand, 
This add-on will ensure that all your rigs are game engine ready so that you can easily animate in Blender and use them in game engines, free theme engines. When I get burned out, tired, and exhausted, I change my Blender theme to have more color and look alive, and this free theme maker is what keeps my mood up. Going outside for a walk or taking a break is for pussy. Being able to easily move objects or selected faces toward the direction they are facing should be a feature of Blender, and it is, but it's hidden behind a long menu. This add-on brings it to your fingertips. Quick Attach, Transfer Weight. If you are rigging multiple things that need weight painting, weight paint one and tra transfer that information to the rest easily with the Quick Attach and Transfer Weight add-on. You can also use it to attach textures to any mesh, animated or static. There is no point in doing everything from scratch. You won't get far, especially when using geometry nodes. There are hundreds of things that you will have to do over and over that are always needed when creating procedural setups. If you are running into this issue, and you will if you use geometry nodes, just invest in this GN preset. I mean, it's only $0 to attain, and you will have a collection of 70 commonly used node groups. Noises are one crucial tool for creating procedural materials and effects. Blender comes with about three or four, but there are more out there that have made other applications like Substance Designer as powerful as it is. And this free extension brings them to Blender for your convenience. And that, my friend, is just amazing. Tools I myself am going to enjoy when making my art, and I hope you too can find them useful.